everybody, with this video, we're going to continue with our series of AI image generation from a base image. In this case, we're going to start with a sketch instead of a finished model. So this is the sketch that I input into the system. And these are the kinds of views and renders that we were able to get out. So I'm using dreamstudio.ai and Dream Studio AI is made by Stability AI, who are the producers of Stable Diffusion, which is the most widely used open source AI text to image prompts. They have a new version, a new model, which is called SDXL Beta. And this one is currently in preview mode, so they haven't released the open source version of it yet. So I know it's available on the Dream Studio AI website. I'm not sure where else it is available, but they say as soon as it is out of beta that they will release it as an open source toolkit. Let's upload the image now. We'll start with this sketch image, and now let's create a prompt which is saying a modern office building. Photograph, detailed. And for negative prompt, we'll keep it simple. We don't want anything that's blurred, blurry, blur, no watermarks. The style we're going to use is 3D model. And everything else we're going to leave as is, except the image strength. So by default, the image strength is 100. And you can see how crisp the image looks like. And now if you start to reduce the image strength, we see that the image input becomes a little bit blurred, which allows the software to be a bit more creative and divulge from the initial image. If we keep this at 100, it's going to generate the exact same thing. So let's start out with 50 and click on dream to see what it comes up with. It's going to take a minute to produce. And it's interesting, some images are flagged as inappropriate. So I tried a couple of different image strengths until I found one that I thought works fairly well, which is around 48%. Too little image strength and we get something that's very different. This one seems to be different, but still keep to it. So from this point on, it's very much an iterative game, right? So we have a couple of sketches that enhance what we have initially and they put a little bit more detail. So let's try out this one and now start to produce variations. And hopefully with each iteration, we get a little bit more and more detail that's starting to look better and better. So for these ones, I'm going to go with this and create another variation. Now, when we click on variations, we have this image that's being uploaded into here. But once it's uploaded there, for example, now if I run it, it will be the exact same generation as these four images. But instead, we can also play with image strength here if you want something to be a little bit closer, a little bit further away from what we've got initially. So I like this image here. I'm going to try it again. This one is also quite nice. Okay, so we're getting there. So let's try this image now. Now he's gone a little bit overboard and maybe it's moved too far away from the initial concept. And I can see now that even in this sketch here, it's doing that as well. So let's try instead this variation to see if we can come up with something better. And I'm going to scroll back and see if we have other models that might work fairly well. For example, this one here. That's the process here, essentially. It's iterating, it's trying out one image, then iterating, then seeing how well it works, and then making modifications if we see the need to do that and improve them further. Okay, so from these last sets, let's go with this image here. I wish there was a bit more continuity between this base and the actual building volume. Maybe this first one might work pretty well. I'm gonna run variations on both of them just to see what the results that we come up with are. And now let's go back and again, see if we have another one that might work a bit better. So I'm going to run variations from this image here. I might have done it already, but every time it produces slightly different results. So it's always a good idea to keep trying. These are quite strange now, they move quite a bit far from the concept. So at some point it might be useful to increase the image strength. So we get something that gets a little bit closer to our initial concept. So these are staying fairly true. I wish I could see a little bit more detail in the windows, in the facade, 
there's some that's starting to pop out here and some here but the scale is a little bit off in regards to what the massing size is now these steps are quite intense but let's try it let's run with this image here and while we have it on we can increase the strength to something like 52 and i'm going to remove detailed drawing and sketch and let's just say modern office building detailed so let's try that again and in the meantime let's see if there's one that works fairly well in here this is starting to look interesting so we'll run it and these are nice images but it's hard to imagine how this is a real facade a real building but let's just keep running it until we get something that feels a little bit more solid and a little bit better so we're getting something interesting here now we we're definitely getting some results we have these uh, very big steps that are going towards the volume of the building the building is a bit flatter but it's definitely an option so let's run variations on this and variations on that now here in the top right hand corner you can see how much credits i have left so i bought a thousand credits for ten dollars to run this through and i can scroll down and show you how many images i've done basically quite a few quite a lot right so those credits do last for quite a bit of time and it tells us also how much credits each image generation is using so all these four images here they have used up 3.33 credits fairly interesting results they're starting to look more and more like an actual building massing so we've done building variations from here and let's also do building variations from this image over here I think this one is particularly successful uh, this side here is a little bit dark it would probably need some openings for the facade which this option here is showing however the top part of this isn't so good but this part here is quite successful so let's run variations on this and in the meantime how about these here there the, the scale of them is a little bit different right so this feels like a smaller building because we have less subdivisions but it also works quite well and there's this really interesting wrap which could be almost like a skin on top of it so let's run variations on these two now the results that we got they're getting more and more solid and let's just go back and see this image here yeah they seem to be working fairly well with what we had initially so let's try running a variation on this and these are also looking quite interesting aren't they so i like this version and this version here of course at this point it's all subjective right because i don't have a very specific end goal in mind or what i'm thinking that this might look like but it's very useful to look at all these iterations now there's something off now with the scale with these versions over here it's getting a little bit off a of scale with our people that it is adding i'm a big fan of the wrap so let's try a variation of this and these are looking great now i mean it, all of them i can see how they're becoming more and more versions of real buildings so i'm going to do variations of these three see what it comes up with at some point you know the details they get lost or it tries to interpret something that's quite a bit in a different way but for what we're doing i think this is a really good step to actually stop because if we open the original sketch now and we look at the original sketch and the final result you can see how we have some element of movement right of this transformation happening from the bottom and then continuing on top and then something that ha that's happening that's a little bit different and exposed so this image definitely portrays that and if we look back these images here portray this even this portrays that and it's quite interesting take on it because it regulates the facade that's on top right so we have a wrap and this is the extra supplementary expensive construction if we're thinking about how we would construct this right whereas this volume here this part of the massing that's a bit more of a regular construction so it's actually great how the software is showing us a mixture of both which wasn't my intended sketch initially it helps with design doesn't it 
So that's what we're getting at here. So you can see in the span of 15 minutes, we have generated a number of very useful concepts that move beyond a sketch and show us an actual massing. We have an idea of a facade system. We have an idea for the spaces that are starting to look like. We're not getting super real in this case, and I don't think that's the point, but we're getting real enough and rendered enough where there's a clear understanding of different material systems and tectonics and how they merge or diverge from each other. So thanks very much for watching this. You can support my work on Patreon. If you're interested to know how we generate these kind of images here from a 3D model instead of a sketch, then check out this video over here. And if you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. See you next time.